My name is Rich Risto, and I am a stranger in a strange land. And today, actually, in my apartment in Shinbei, Chengzhou, and I thought it might be interesting to open these. Now, these are Chinese Harry Potter trading cards. Um, <clears throat> now, one always asks or wonders about trademark issues. Um, and as you can see from the WB logo, there's actually English here. Um, these are licensed because if you like this company, um, which I have a hard time pronouncing correctly, is basically like the tops of China. Like almost every pack of trading cards I've seen in China is manufactured, printed and manufactured by the, um, these companies. So I thought it might be interesting to see what... Harry Potter memorabilia or Harry Potter actual trading cards are like in China. So let's go ahead and open these. Now, the one thing I know about the cards here is typically, so if we get this out here, right? So realistic scenes from the movie, uh, you have this logo in the corner and Harry Potter embossed in the upper right hand corner. If I flip this over, there's some explanatory text in Chinese. So let's go through these, all right? Slytherin. Now these tend to be fairly glossy, um, but as we get to the end, ooh, Dumbledore, as we get to the end, there's sort of uh, one sort of special foil-ish card per pack. So, Let's go. Now, man, these things are sealed pretty hardcore. If I can't, man, am I a weakling? Jesus. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see, we got Dumbledore, W, Gary Oldman, Alan Rickman. Rest in peace. And Cedric Diggory as the foil collectible. Okay, let's. All right, so Harry and Dumbledore, Young Harry, Kick Ass Harry. This is probably from Deathly Hallows. That looks like Neville Longbottom. And what is the foil? Bellatrix Lestrange. Looking all sexy and evil. All right. Okay. Not making out what that is from the movie. Harry, and McGonagall, took a while. So you can see the, f so it's glossy, these sort of special cards per pack, they're glossy like the regular ones, but you know, you can see the foil effect as well. Okay, so here we go to the next one. The thing is, I have no earthly clue how collectible or sort of valuable as trading cards these might be. Now, um, I can say with certain, with a lot of certainty that I've not seen these cards around China all that much. I saw them in one shop and just bought a pile out of out of um, curiosity because um, when it comes to trading cards in um, in China, the big business actually is Ultraman and um, Dalo Dalu is um, the two biggest sort of properties. Ultraman obviously is world famous, whereas 
The Lodalu is a um, Chinese version of anime. So Hermione Granger as a foil. Okay, I got four of these left. So let's see. Uh, there are also um, Chinese Marvel trading cards. And maybe I'll make a video about those later. Um, I am liking the quality of the cards um, here. And, um, and I mean, as a fan of this franchise and the books and what, whatnot, um, I totally don't mind collecting these. Um, you know, whereas um, Magic the Gathering, I, and I really like the, the foil embossed Harry Potter on this. And I got another um, foil Hermione. But yeah, so Chinese trading cards, you know, I've seen both good and bad. And, you know, these are my first real sort of experiences with these. And these tend to be of better quality. And as I said, I'm a fan of the books, the film franchise and what have you. So, I mean, just as a fan of Harry Potter, these are kind of just worthwhile to me on that end. Um, I don't remember who this is. Dean Thomas, minor character. And it's been a, been a while since I read any of the books or seen any of the movies, actually years. Now this, this is the second to last one. Okay, so this kick-ass Harry, you know, from Deathly Hallows, that's probably got to be one of the more commons because I've seen that one several times. Long bottom, especially this Dumbledore here. And... I, you know, I like the card. I like the way, you know, the sort of embossing on this one. Um, so, yeah. And last pack. All right. So, let's see what the standard repeats are. Okay. Uh, this looks like Harry playing Quidditch. Serious Black. Looks like he's an Azkaban. Uh, Dumbledore with his big old beard. This looks to be fight sequence. Anyway, and then, and then the last one, another McGonagall. So the truth of the matter is, um, you know, I mean, I do collect, I do collect trading cards. I mean, I've made Magic the Gathering videos in the past. And, um, and what have you. So, you know, here's the backside of, um, so these special sort of uh, foils, unlike, you know, the regular ones that have Chinese text, um, these sort of special foils, um, the backs are, you know, um, unique to um, different extents. Um, anyway, as I said, I've only seen these in one store. So, you know, I've basically, you know, are keeping these just basically as a fan, but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy more of these. Um, and so that's that. Now, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, maybe the next Chinese trading card video I make will be dedicated to the Marvel cards, which actually seem kind of cool as well. Um, but thank you for watching. And if you like to wander like I do, until next time, safe travels.